melodiosis. Melodiosis, also called Whitmore's disease, is an infectious disease that can infect humans or animals. The disease is caused by the bacterium Bucardiera pseudomyces. The bacteria causing melodiosis are found in contaminated water and soil. It is spread to humans and animals through direct contact with the contaminated source. It is predominantly a disease of tropical climates, especially in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia where it is widespread. Melodiosis has the potential to spread to areas where it's not typically found. For that reason, Bucardiera pseudomyces has been identified as a potential biological weapon. Humans and animals are believed to acquire the infection by inhalation of contaminated dust or water droplets, contact with contaminated soil, especially through skin abrasions, and ingestion of contaminated water. It is very rare for people to get the disease from another person. The bacteria can live for years in contaminated soil and water. While a few cases have been documented, contaminated soil and surface water remain the primary way in which people become infected. Outbreaks of melodiosis are most common after a heavy rainfall, typhoon, monsoon, or flooding even in arid regions. Pneumonia is a common first symptom during these periods. There may be other ways the bacterium is spread environmentally that haven't been discovered. Experts believe cases of melodiosis are greatly unreported in many tropical and subtropical areas. The areas with the most reported cases of melodiosis are Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Northern Australia. It is also common in Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and much of India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. There are several types of melodiosis infection, each with their own set of symptoms. However, it is important to note that melodiosis has a wide range of signs and symptoms that can be mistaken for other diseases such as tuberculosis or more common forms of pneumonia. The symptoms of melodiosis vary depending on the type of infection. In general, it takes 2 to 4 weeks for symptoms to appear after exposure to the bacterium. However, symptoms may take hours or years to appear, and some people have the disease without having symptoms. Although healthy people may get melodiosis, people having the major risk factors are predisposed to disinfection which are diabetes, liver disease, renal disease, thalassemia, cancer or another immune suppressing condition not related to HIV and chronic lung disease. Not to forget, workers in construction, farming, fishing and forestry, military personnel, adventure travelers and ecotourists including those who've spent less than a week in an area where the disease is prevalent. Melodiosis is diagnosed by isolating Bucodoria pseudomyla from blood, urine, sputum, skin lesions or abscesses or by detecting an antibody response to the bacteria. The sample is put on a growing medium such as agar to see if the bacteria grows. Melodiosis can affect almost any organ and can mimic many other diseases. That's why it's sometimes called the great imitator. But a misdiagnosis can be fatal. However, Katrin isn't always successful in all cases of melodiosis. Katrin the bacterium B. pseudomyla is considered the golden standard diagnostic test. This bacteria appear as a gram-negative red rod when seen under a microscope. The type of infection and the course of treatment will impact long-term outcome. Treatment generally starts with intravenous antimicrobial therapy for 10 to 14 days followed by 3 to 6 months of oral antimicrobial therapy. Intravenous therapy consists of cestazidim administered every 6 to 8 hours or meropenem administered every 8 hours. While oral antimicrobial therapy consists of sulfamethoxazole trimetoprim taken every 12 hours 
or amoxicillin taken every 8 hours. Meliodesis can be a serious disease. Meliodesis germs are naturally resistant to many commonly used antibiotics which make the disease difficult to treat. People sick with meliodesis frequently need to be hospitalized for treatment. Even after they are well enough to go home, people who have meliodesis need to take antibiotics for several months. This long period of treatment makes sure the antibiotics kill all the meliodesis germs in the person's body and prevent the disease from coming back. It can also be hard to diagnose meliodesis quickly. The symptoms of meliodesis are the same as more common diseases like community-acquired pneumonia, the flu, or tuberculosis. <coughs> Even with newer IV antibiotic treatments, a significant number of people still die from meliodesis each year, particularly from sepsis and its complications. Death rates are higher in areas with limited access to medical care. People travelling to at-risk areas should be aware of meliodesis and take steps to limit their potential exposure. If travellers develop pneumonia or septic shock upon returning from tropical or subtropical area, the doctor needs to consider meliodesis as a possible diagnosis. At present, there is no vaccine to prevent infection of meliodesis. There are some tips as preventive measures. Diabetic or chronic kidney patient with open wounds should avoid direct contact with contaminated soil and water. Farmers should wear boots that can prevent infection through the food. Gardeners should wear gloves when tending the soil. Healthcare workers can take precautions to use masks, gloves and gowns while handling patients.